Let's go to the phones. Uh, you can talk to me when we take live calls via discord at davidpackmancom slash discord. Let's go to. Oh, I don't know. How about uh, let's go to Jack from Indianapolis first today. Jack, you're on the air. What's on your mind? Jack from Indianapolis, please. Uh, hey, David. Uh, so uh, I got a couple of questions for you. Um, the first one would be, uh, have you done any research at all into the way in which uh, music or art subcultures influence uh, politics? Not um, not as a general topic. I mean, I've read and seen documentaries about specific musical movements, for example, or what have you, and its connection to politics, but not as a general topic. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, I just find that whole kind of realm to be uh, fascinating personally, just the way in which uh, different genres have their own kind of political leanings. Most of them are left wing. Yes, uh, there is the occasional right leaning uh, scene as well. But well, in the United kind of States, how country music, to the left. country music in the U.S. tends to be more right wing with exceptions. Of course, you know, the Dixie Chicks would be an exception and there's others. But country music in the U.S. certainly is uh, has more of a right wing uh, bent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and even in recent years, country music has kind of started leaning more left. Um, you know, I've heard rumors that more of uh, the country artists in general uh, tend to be more left leaning than than people think. Interesting. Uh, it's more like kind of private for them, I guess, though. Yeah. I mean, it also may be it's private because it would be bad for their ticket sales if it was public. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but also there's I mean, there's like things like black metal and, um, uh, you know, like death metal uh, tend to have more kind of right leaning, but like libertarian uh, ideologies versus like, you know, punk rock has always been very hard left. But yep. You know, the occasional right wing uh, strand like straight edge culture sometimes is right wing. I don't know. Um, anyway, I just found that whole thing kind of interesting. Um, and I guess the second question would be, um, you know, you're a drummer, right? Yes. Um, where can I listen to some of your uh, playing? Oh, I don't know that there is any. I mean, when when uh, at one point I was in a band called Tin Fingers, not ten, but tin like the Tin Man. And there may be videos floating around of uh, some of some of our shows. That's the only thing I can think of offhand. Interesting. Yeah. What was your like style? How do you guys play? Uh, that was like um, alternative, basically modern alternative. Oh, OK. That, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. Yeah. Ten fingers. OK. All yeah, right. Thanks, very David. good. Thank you so much for the call. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very, uh, very powerful questions there. One of our sponsors today is Blue Chew, a unique online service delivering the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. And they're giving my audience an entire month's supply for free. So if you think you could benefit from an extra boost of confidence when it's time, all you have to do is take a short quiz on their website. A licensed doctor approves your prescription. The medication comes straight to your home within days in a discreet package. No driving around to the doctor's office or the pharmacy. No waiting around. No awkward conversations with your doctor. All of Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA. The entire process is just a few clicks. Go to BlueChew.com. The link is underneath this video. They'll give you an entire month's supply for free. When you use the promo code PACMAN, all you have to do is pay $5 shipping. 